I'm going to show you a relatively inexpensive way to add low temperature charge protection to any generic lithium iron phosphate battery. So why do we want to do that? Well, lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry doesn't allow it to be charged below freezing temperatures or it will be destroyed. Yep, you heard that right. If you try to charge it below freezing temperatures, it becomes a big paperweight. It becomes a boat anchor. It becomes a doorstop. It becomes fitter fatter. Yeah, I don't even know what fitter fatter means. Yeah, neither do I. But let's take a look at what we're going to be doing in this project. In a prior video, we installed solar panels and a lithium iron phosphate battery in this 2014 Jayco pop-up camper. It now has a new owner and they are wanting to use the camper this winter in New Mexico where they are likely to experience some below freezing temperatures. So I'm going to add a monitor that will prevent charging if temperatures fall below freezing. It will be using a W3230 digital LED temperature control module that includes a temperature sensing probe. Okay, so we're looking at a schematic diagram of the Jayco camper and this is with the system after we put the solar panels, the lithium iron phosphate battery, inverter, charger, and control relays in here. All I'm going to do on this is just cover what we need to know to tie in the uh, temperature controller. So just some things to point out. This over here is our uh, solar panel charge controller. This here represents our lithium iron phosphate battery. And this here is our AC charger. So we got shore power that comes in. And then this here is the 12 volts coming out. And with this... Uh, solar panel charger these are our solar panels right here so it feeds the plus and minus dc voltage in and this comes back out to the battery so what we're going to need to do is be able to interrupt coming out of the charger and we need to be able to interrupt coming from the uh, solar charger as well but this solar ch charger as well as most that I've seen don't recommend you interrupting the power to the battery. Instead what we're going to need to do is interrupt the power from the solar panels going into the controller. It'll have the same effect. Um, it'll just be less risk to the charge controller. So the first thing we're going to do is open up this circuit here on the positive side and then we're going to open up coming out of the charger on the positive side. Then the next thing we're going to do is add in a relay and this is just a common automotive relay. And then we're going to wire that in. So this is set so is tied in with the normally open circuit so this relay will need to be energized in order to allow power to come from the solar panel into the uh, charger. Likewise we're going to add in another relay down here so coming out of the positive voltage out of the AC charger will go through the common and the normally open back into our circuit so same way this relay here has to be energized in order to allow our uh, charging to happen. So I've also got on here now our temperature controller. So it has four connections to it, our power coming in, ground, and then S1 and S2 are relay contacts. So then uh, the next step we're going to do is to wire all this up. And I'm going to start back here. So we have a fuse. Now this here is our 12 volt supply going to all of our accessories and equipment in the trailer. And the reason I tap power from here and not like straight from the battery is that this wiring's already ran up to where our temperature controller is going. So it makes it real easy to wire in. So we're going to put a fuse on that so I, I just used a one amp fuse and so this is going to feed power to the the coil on our relay for our AC charger um, our 12 volts also going to come up to feed 
the supply on our controller and then it's also going to feed power to the coil for the solar relay then to complete the circuit you you'll be following the the blue circuits around so coming from each relay will come back to the charge controller so then the relay inside the charge controller whenever the temperature is okay for our battery charging it's going to connect that to ground which will then complete our circuit let's go on to getting this actually wired in a mounting location is found for the controller a panel is removed to gain access to verify there is room for the controller we will also need to remove the J sofa in the back to gain access to the charge controllers Wiring is ran to relays that will mount near the solar charge controller and the AC charger. The mounting location for the controller is cut out. Next, the controller is wired and mounted. The probe is mounted against the battery case. Foam insulation and thinset is affixed over the battery where the probe is to help the probe from being affected by air temperature. The top LED displays the current temperature in degrees Celsius. The bottom LED displays the minimum temperature for charging in Celsius. I put this at 4.4 which is close to 40 degrees Fahrenheit just to give us a safe margin. Altogether, I have less than $20 in materials for this project. So if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more of Tim's awesome projects. Thanks for watching.